Hello everyone and welcome to midday.com. I'm Supriya Narya and today with me is the incredibly talented Swara Bhaskar. Hi Swara, how are you doing? Hi. You avenged that guy uh, in the first episode by shooting him. So could you relate with that character in some way, the frustration and the anger that people have with them? Could you kind of relate with your character? Not in every way. Uh, hmm. But as I said, it is not my job to relate to the character. Right. It's my right. job to to uh, uh, be able to find the emotional uh, motivation for the for her actions in the script hmm. and play that part. So, if you ask hmm. me personally, what is my opinion about encounters? Not not just encounters, but more about this idea of quick fix justice, instant justice. Uh, you know, just killing all the criminals. Uh, you know, this kind of very mob justice mentality it defies the I law. I yeah. don't. I don't agree with it. I, I think that there is a reason why we have the judiciary. There is a reason why we have the law. I think that the basis for any uh, society that is democratic, that is uh, civilized, is that even criminals deserve a fair trial. And justice will be done and punishment will be given, but after a fair trial. And that is really the marker of a um, civilized society. Um, right. It is the marker of a, a, a democratic society. Um, so I personally do not necessarily agree with Radha's position, for example, on wanting to kill all sex traffickers. Though, of course, if you ask me about the character and if you watch the show, you understand where she's coming from. Right. You completely understand what that frustration is. And we have to also, when we talk about police brutality, we also have to think about um, the kind of lives they lead. Yeah? Like, what is it that, that leads to that brutalization of our uh, uniform personnel? Look at the kind of conditions they work in. Look at the kind of pace they have. Look at the lack of no holidays do they have enough equipment are they well um, you know are they well looked after are they uh, is there counseling is right. there you know so it's a very high pressure job that they're doing so are we are we protecting our uh, uniformed personnel from their own the pressures of their own job and from their own inner demons i True. don't think we are so when we talk about police reform, I think there's also all these things to think about. And with the trend that's going on these days, like mob justice is something that is becoming more and more something that is, you know, prevailing. I, I don't support mob justice in any form, on any issue. I do not. Blanket, do not support it. Even the smallest of a line or any scene that people object to and then it becomes like, you know, a boycott like a public thing that just happens and where do you see this trend and how do you see it? I mean, you know, I always say that, you know, India, we uh, sometimes we're in a situation where like a country of 1.3 billion hertz sentiments, 135 crore hertz sentiments, basically. That, that, that That's what we are. Do you feel like the atmosphere has to, turned so negative on social media with a lot of people taking a break from uh, Twitter or yeah. other... I think our public discourse is the pits. Our public discourse is disgusting. If you sit in front of the news channel, you will uh, be able to witness it on a daily basis. I don't believe, understand how we can anybody can remain sane if they subject themselves to that kind of content regularly. And I think that uh, as as a public, as a society, we're incapable of listening to each other, listening to each other's points of view. We're only accusing each other. That's hard. And, and you know, we're drawing false equivalences. We're letting off. I mean, it's just, it's a mess. It really is a mess. And I think that the, the uh, you know, the social media was supposed to be something that would connect us, that would, that would be good. But instead, it's just becoming uh, a place of very, very in the pits kind of discourse. And Vicious, very practical, like polarizing, me. hateful, nonsense, utter rubbish. And the pandemic is not helping. Everyone is at home. So, you know, there is bad scene. Twitter is something where uh, I think you've said it often that now if you don't trend, you're surprised by that because every other day like we have Swara Bhastra trending for something or the other. How do you manage to keep yourself sane amidst all the negativity? I just don't, I don't look at it. I don't read my comments. I don't uh, check the trends. Half the time I don't know when I'm trending. Um, I'm just, I'm not tuning into it, quite frankly. Because I, I don't need that kind of rubbish in my life. And, and it doesn't, it's not a reflection that whatever is happening on Twitter is not a reflection of who I am. It's not a reflection of the work I'm doing. The work I'm doing is flesh. And so when people are commenting on that, I'm willing to engage in that conversation. I, I'm a human person. I'm not just a Twitter existence, you know. So yeah, I, I don't tune into it actually. And I, I spend a lot of time doing other things. Like as I, I, I just told you what my pandemic looks like. 
so i'm actually fairly busy often times i just post what i have to post and then i do not even look at the comments you know while faceless trolls are often mean and write mean things but what happens when you know some known people or known influencers come out and say stuff or troll people how do you even react then like you know being in the same industry as i said people have the right to their opinion i have no problem if people have a right to their opinion not everyone has to like me uh that's fine but the uh, you know if you're going to put out falsehoods about me in public i will stand up for myself um you know i am uh, it's as simple as that so uh, so i have no problem with anyone having an opinion i have an opinion and i say it publicly and if they have an opinion they can say it publicly as well but if it's a falsehood then you know anything you know it's like saying anything that is said in public uh, expect for a reaction and expect to be challenged by people who don't agree with you i don't have a problem with people disagreeing with me and challenging me so 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 they shouldn't have a problem with being challenged either it's very simple i, I have say. no i don't take i don't take these things personally i must say that's a very very dignified way of taking it and taking that stance it was it's really amazing to see that subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon